it's amazing it's funny it's interesting was it worth it oh most definitely it is worth it hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl victory Ojeda. in today's video we are talking about one piece plus i am telling you the eden story behind the movie one piece so make sure you stick to this video like subscribe and also drop a comment okay one piece released august 31st on netflix and i was literally dreaming about one piece <laughs> on the 30th of august i was like so excited i was expectant one piece talks about luffy the monkey he's gonna be the king of the pirates <laughs> his pirate is a different kind of pirate his pirate is the one who seeks adventure to friendship having a crew that always has his back he's cheerful loving and also very stretchy <laughs> he sails the merry ship on an adventure with four other crew members zoro Nahim, Usopp, and Saji. These characters were later introduced as the episode went on. One Piece, the movie, is currently on Netflix and it has eight episodes, like just eight episodes. The first episode was very, very interesting. I love it. Um, the introduction was very, very welcoming. It was like a bed spread that was laid on this bed for we the viewers to enjoy, take a nap, and relax. The introductory scene came up and we saw um a pirate who was about to be executed and before he was executed his final words were motivational words to inspire the younger generation of pirates and also he spoke about his hidden treasure where he hid it and he called it the one piece and then everyone all the young pirates scattered abroad on a quest to find his treasure i love the fact that this um scene was being showed i love the fact that no one spoke about it it was not um, a tale that was spoken or said by someone in the movie because this scene was like the most significant scene in the movie this was the beginning this was what happened how everyone started looking for the one piece i love the fact that they gave us the ability to see it and we didn't get to hear it from someone else i literally binge watched the whole episode today i won't lie my eyes are literally <laughs> swollen i was really angry when i was distracted or when i was called by someone to do something else i was so upset it was captivating i laughed it was funny it was so interesting and i definitely want you to see it on netflix as the episode unfolded you get to see how all the characters had backstories and i love the fact that these backstories were told it was very significant you get to see a character's story past being shown as his action is being performed in the movie you get to understand why the character feels the way he feels why the character thinks the way that he thinks and you get to expect some things the character should do in his or her action i love the fact that they showed those displays it was not really really talked about they made us see it show don't tell they literally did it also i'm 100 percent sure that the reason why they gave us deep backstories about these characters is because one piece we have later seasons and once a season is coming up, they want us to have a deeper understanding of who the characters is. And we are setting these characters on a journey. And they want us to follow along with this journey to understand better in the future seasons to come. So the cinematography. I noticed some camera angle shots that were actually almost like an anime kind of setup. And I noticed this close-up shot in anime that actually caused this exaggeration of their body parts was really used in the production of this movie. I love the fact that they kept to it. They kept to the fact that they were trying to recreate the anime, the existing anime, giving it a live action. So they went as far as creating those iconic shots in the anime, even in the movie, which was really, really good. I'm sure the owner of One Piece would be very, very proud when seeing One Piece. So this season of One Piece, we get to see how Luffy bonds with his crew members. We get to see how he forms the crew, how he forms the hat red hat the luffy crew you get to see how it forms it how they build bonds how they build connection how they get to trust themselves and lean on each other's strengths in the course of the story we get to see one word that was consistently said over and over again and that word is dreams i've noticed something in japanese anime their production their story writing style i've noticed that when they have a theme for a story they are not um they are not shy to say that thing they are very outspoken they are very outspoken about the team it's like they're shouting with a trumpet in this um life action one piece you get to see the dreams the word mentioned over and over and over again in an episode you can hear someone talk about dream like 30 times you're like oh my god 
literally it's them teaching you what dream is it's them showing you as children we all have dreams it's them showing you that as adults just because of circumstances we might lose our dream it's them showing you that you should not give up i would like there were some scenes that i cried because it was very very relatable as a young person growing up with all our dreams as a child i was a child before obviously i didn't fall from the sky like this the eating story of monkey the luffy one piece <laughs> so every story every film has an eating story it's just like an eating treasure for you the viewer for you the audience to find throughout the course of that movie for you to embrace it's more like a moral lesson for you to take home so what moral lesson did i victoria Dada, take home from this film now this is it monkey the luffy is a pirate <laughs> who set an adventure with four other crew members he has a dream monkey the luffy takes these four people on a voyage to his dream but as they join his journey to his dream they are living their own dream so what i got from this is that sometimes you need someone to take you on a journey to his dream for you to live your dream guys that is deep like that is like so deep i've heard this thing before i've been taught this thing and me watching it literally made me cry monkey de luffy is brave he's courageous he's daunting he's relentless he's an amazing character whoever made up that character did a great job he's a perfect example of a good dreamer and we watch as we see as he's on the path to being the king of pirates he hasn't gotten to the one piece yet but then those people who have mentored him through the past we get to see how they find a wanted poster of him and they are being so excited because they're saying yes monkey the luffy you made it to this point and it's a celebration party for them yes you have a dream right now there's someone who is rooting out for you just imagine you getting there the person being excited i guess this is my take on one piece so now what did you get drop a comment what did you get your eating story the treasure your lesson you took as a personal story that is relatable to you that you took from this movie one piece it's not just to watch it it's for you to embrace it love it and yes i'll rate it 10 over 10. if i was given an opportunity to be a director on this film i would definitely take it seize it i would definitely take it this is 10 over 10. i i watched it everything and i am so excited about the one piece